Hi guys, and welcome to a new series. So we're going to be building, well, we're going to be doing interiors of this one. So of course, I'm doing the High Guard series at the minute. I've got my render distance down because I don't want to ruin any of the uh, episodes in the future. Um, but you, you might see in, in these kind of, let's call them let's build interiors, let's interior series, I guess. Um, you might see some stuff in the background, um, like the you know that I put in from from the time lapse series of of main High Guard. So these are going to be basically interior videos. Um, we're going to be going over stuff like the fort that we've got here. So uh, in the first episode of uh, Let's well, High Guard, um, ended up building this fort, and well, we're going to be flushing it out and doing an interior, and kind of like building it up, giving it some character, and you know, do all that kind of stuff. And we're probably going to do the same with all the houses that we get. We'll try and. Uh, Especially the more important ones like pubs and things like that will we'll definitely do the same kind of thing. Uh, so first, on to naming. So one of the things I asked in the time lapse video, the, the other reason I've got these videos as well is, um, well, one, uh, it means I've got videos to go up in a week uh, while I'm still recording other bits. Um, two, um, it is because some, some I'll ask questions in the main time lapse series and this is kind of like the perfect place to kind of like answer those questions, I guess, if, if there's any that come up. Or, or to talk about different things and talk about lore just in a general sense and then you guys can comment and, and add to it. You can also do that on the main video. But um, yeah, one of the things I asked for was a name for the actual um, fort itself. So with this one I've gone for Hassel Graffer. So it's a really, really weird weird name. Hassel Graffer, I think it is with TH. Uh, and that was by Cod Players 101 There's also um, Orman's Watch as well, which is a really good one. That was by uh, Just Joey. Uh, and he had a little story of his saying that it was uh, once given to a knight in the defence of the city or something like that, uh, and I actually kind of like, kind of like that. So I think probably we're going to have Ormond's Watch, maybe one of the gates or Ormond's Gate or something, um, or we might have like a, another one, you know, another one of the sea forts further on down, down over that way. So I'm getting my thing up down over that way uh, to actually have a look at it. But Hassel Gratha. So the reason I've gone with this name because there's quite a few. Uh, a lot of you guys said Sea Guard. Um, Fort Boyard came up, Fort Knox came up, uh, which are pretty typical ones. I wasn't going to call it Fort Knox, uh, just because I, I just don't think I'd fit at all. But uh, Fort Boyard, of course, is is kind of where I got the inspiration. As soon as somebody said, "Could you build a sea fort?" Uh, fort Boyard is what came up. So anyway, um, I'll explain and, and kind of like show you guys what we've got to work with. And my thinking behind it as well, because of course, it, in a time lapse, it was pretty quick, and I did go over uh, what I was trying to do with the building part of it, but actually, defense-wise. Uh, we've got this tiny little wall here. Now this wall is pretty small. What I am going to do is build some more spiky rocks along this side to make it like a, you know, like this this rock that we've got the main fort actually sat on uh, is part of a lot more of a rocky coast. So that's why they haven't actually got any defense on there. If you guys think that we need to do something with this, we can build some scaffold or something like that uh, along it. Or we push the wall out and we actually have the wall, you know, built in, into the side of it uh, kind of properly. What I didn't want to do is actually have it so that you could walk across from this wall onto it because there will be, uh, especially around the gate area, we're going to have a kind of like door to go up onto these walls. Um, I didn't want it to kind of like uh, interfere with the fort. I wanted this this fort to only be accessible by, you know, going up here, getting shot at by all of these arrows here, go all the way over to here and then get to the main gate where you've got to try and basically batter it down. And you would not, you know, just really struggle to get a battering ram here, even if you did. You would you would get shot at from or, or stones or fire or hot boiling water or anything would drop to you from a couple angles. So I mean, you know, you would be in trouble. Uh, is what I'm trying to say. So so that was my idea. That was my thinking behind it and why we've got this going around the outside. Uh, even if you had a ship, what we're going to have, even if you had a ship coming into here, um, you would have been shot out so much by the cans that are going to be on these walls um, that you'd hope that it would be, you know, pretty much taken out by then. Um, so yeah, that's that's the idea. So. Yeah, let's, let's, let's give you guys a tour. So we've got this, this main gate. Now, I have no idea for the plan of this at all. Um, but a lot of these lower ones, I might even switch out to not just have the arrow slits, especially on the lower levels. Uh, I might actually have some cannons on these sides. Uh, so you can see the sick freight somewhere out there. I can't really see it properly, actually. Um, so we might have some cannons on these sides or some bits of it. Uh, just as these like cannon ports so that they can, you know, extra, extra areas to shoot out of. Um, now, if we go up a floor, uh, but apart from that, maybe we can have the main kind of living quarters lower down on this part. Maybe um, something like that, because I don't know. I think it depends, actually, doesn't it? Depends what we want to have. Um, we've got so much room to actually work with. Now, up up here, we've got a lot more shooty holes. We've also got some gaps going in. I have put in a couple of cannons. Uh, pretty typical design using the anvils, so two of the iron and uh, dark iron balustrades, not anvils. I know they look exactly like anvils, but 
yeah, balustrades, um, dark iron stairs on the back. I've also used the portcullis groove balustrade, uh, doing it like that, you know, that way where it pushes out rather than the standalone square. Um, and my main thinking was behind this was that then you've got like this area where you can put the stuff in, and I decided to stick this on top, which completely covered up the hole. Um, but you know, that'd be in the wick, and you'd fire, and then you know, shoots off. Uh, so that was the idea behind that. Obviously, they are. Uh, they're, they're four blocks long, so they don't give you a lot of walking distance, but I'm not really too, too worried about that. Uh, we do have this like upstairs area. We've got that little port there, which you can go out onto. Um, not really port, a, a little walkway, I guess. Same with this side, we need to put up some uh, more cannons on this bit. This is a bigger bit. Obviously, we've got the defense part down, down here to defend that bit. Um, and this one's got two doors as well. So I've tried to give most of them two doors. Just in case one gets damaged at all, because you would hope that they wouldn't get boarded on these these sides. Um, now the upper bit, so this is where it's more. It's kind of like the original circle, uh, but there is a big cut in on this side. So if we go in through here, you know, this is just this side bit here. So this is just looking over this bit. Really, this bit would only be. This bit probably wouldn't have cannons. You might have a cannon up here, maybe. But generally, this is for this part. So maybe we can do this as a lot lighter. And I've only put one door in, but we could have we could have a couple doors. Um, and then, of course, we've got some more shooty holes. And then we've got another walkway around this side here as well. So this one would definitely have some cannons on it. And it's obviously higher up than that one. So maybe these are... Well, it depends, obviously. If you're up higher and you can fire, then it would go a little bit further. But still arc down anyway. Um, but we have got that to kind of work with. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I think it's kind of cool. Where the hell's the door? There we go. That one's only got one door. I think it's because of the weird shape of it. Now, I have gone with... Uh, obviously, we had the stairs going down here, so this is the, these are the only stairs are built. This one here, and also the tower that was at an angle. I decided to start on on that as well. We've got one block which is actually part of the outside wall, um, but everything else is wood on, on the inside of this. So then we go up to oops, up to there, and you're pretty much in your own separate tower, which gets you to the top of the actual keep itself. And I don't know what we're going to do at the top at all, so we might tackle that in another episode. And those stairs just go all the way up to the top of of this here. So you've then got this. Lookout, and I think we will keep this purely as a kind of like lookout, especially over because Bacon Breeze that way. Uh, but the main, make kind of like sea part of it, the main bay. Actually, let's get up the map. Right, okay, I know you guys can't see the pointer, but um, you can see this bit of land here that's Bacon Bray, and then you've got the main bay over in here. So, I mean, it's kind of it's more looking up up to this bay uh, where you've got Bacon Bray and uh, stuff like that, or, or maybe even uh, onto this bit of land here, this uh, headland. Um, so maybe we can have that. Maybe we can actually put just a telescope in already. Elven telescope. Okay, well, that's fancy. That's very fancy. So we've got that one there. Okay. That's what that looks like. And then we've got the elven one. I'll have this one. I know that's going to obviously interfere with this thing, but that's fine. Put it, right, so do you put it in the direction you want it to go? Yeah, you do. Or we can even have it I'll have it there instead. I don't really want to anywhere else. So that, like they would maybe they would lean over. Ah, oh, get out of there. Yeah, and they'd be able to see out onto that. So there we go. There's a nice little viewpoint there. Right. So anyway, let's get down to the bottom, and we're going to start uh, probably laying out some sort of walls because we need to we need to separate this out quite a bit. Uh, we have got quite a large, obviously wooden wooden ceiling. I'm just getting the materials up on my other wall now. So I've got this coastal fort rock, but actually. No, we can still have it the same walls, or maybe we can have it with the lighter one. I think we'll probably have it with the lighter one that I've been using. So, um, this this mix that we've got has got the dark stone in it, whereas the actual main wall over here has not got dark stone in it. It's only got it on some bits of the bottom that are close to the water. So we probably won't want that. So there we go. Right, if we go into here, get some sort of hideous wall block. That's what I usually do anyway. Um, right, so here we go. So we probably want this bit to be separate. You want it so that if, even if they breach the walls, you'd still be able to shoot at the people trying to get in. Um, now this is a couple blocks higher as well, so I'm hoping that that's going to be acceptable to everything. We also have got a block it block thing here. So this is kind of like half detail, um, but also I was thinking about defences. If you were shooting down from one of these windows, you could then shoot down, but you didn't need to worry about the people here because you know they, these guys were shooting at them or something, or all these guys were. Uh, that's my thinking behind it. I don't, I don't really know if it makes any sense at all. Um, right, so grab this. There you go, that's my brush. Now I have started to add all of these into um, 
into the law document. Uh, so at the bottom of the law document, there's now like a, a section just purely for that, for this this kind of section. Now, do we want any uh, guns or anything on this side? I don't think so. I think that's going to be. This is all going to be defence. I think we're going to pretend that this is a really thick wall on this side, uh, because if you're going to have a ship coming in, they'll be trying to attack the port. They're probably going to be going in like either at this angle, shooting, 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 shooting. Uh, to get into it, so this would be this would take the most damage. So we actually won't put anything on the bottom of this one. Only have these here at the base of this tower. Kind of makes sense actually, doesn't it? Yeah. So there we go. So we got a three, one, 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 two, three. That's where we want to actually make this look like a tower for this one, or not? Because we don't have to. But I think for the time being we will. Good news. Good thing as well using this uh, mask is we don't actually have to you know worry about because we're not deleting any walls. We're just trying to measure some out, so that's quite good. Right, so you'd come into this point here, this would all be like a really thick wall of some kind, uh, so maybe we'll just have this for, you know, going straight for now. We need another way up. Now, actually this tower might be the right one for this, to get up onto this level as one way in. Uh, depends on if we're going to have it purely as, no, I think we'll, we'll have this one purely because of where it is, I don't think it would have some steps up there, but we could have steps going up on this side, maybe. Perhaps, you know, like uh, going from here, for example. Because that's close to that way. Uh, these probably wouldn't be as attacked, so actually it is a pretty good place. Now, what is going on with that weird little hole thing there? Ah, okay, it's got the corner block. I was getting confused about that. That's really weirding me out. Right, so we'll have something here going up, uh, working its way up. Now, we do have another layer underneath. I was thinking about having... Uh, Pretty dark and dingy basement type uh, level, not going into the water, but um, just for food and things like that, supplies that are, are really uh, kind of like low down, I guess. Um, if we go with that, I'm going to build this. So if we can get the if we can get the stairs done, pretty much everything else will work off of that. So there we go. Got all those different slabs and all the variation bits that we need. So that go all the way up to here. We'll just for the time being cut out the entire thing. Uh, it's where we want this to actually end up. Maybe maybe there. It depends. We don't want to. That's the only problem about doing it here. Actually, is that it will be it will interfere. And I know that we're just I'm just going to colour this in and it's all the same. And that's the only problem with that. Maybe we could do it somewhere else instead. Yeah, maybe here. Unless we go with the same kind of thing here, where we just have it step down rather than a. A circular one. Yeah, we'll do that actually. Right, I've now decided. Finally, we'll have it. We'll have it against this wall here. This will be similar to the other one. I mean, they're not likely to be attacked from this side, so it's not been built for that kind of stuff. Right. Okay. There we go. So I have something like that. Okay, something there. That'll do. Right. Okay. So that makes things a lot simpler. We just got up here for this side. Uh, we'll probably have another. Another stairwell, maybe in the middle or something. Uh, but this room here, yeah, you're kind of like, if you were able to break into this, it would be pretty bad. But yeah, you go into here. Uh, you want this to be like a separate area. You wouldn't want it to open. I mean, the thing is, the ones the castles that I've gone into, like Pen uh, Pendennis, for example, or St. Moore's Castle, which is near near me, they're like circular ones that are actually to defend the sea. Um, now they they're pretty simple on the inside. They really don't have a lot of like they're pretty just open, to be honest. <laughs> but I don't really want that because I, I just I can't imagine it really working that that well with this this type of thing. So maybe one, two, four, one. So I want to kind of make it look like maybe it's been expanded over the years. Maybe I don't know actually because I, I think the rock would have been just used uh, as it is. So maybe we'll have something like this. I'm trying to get these these circles as like battery rooms in a way. Is what we're going to call them, maybe. So we'll get into there. I'll have some sort of doorway into here. This will have probably have a, a couple cannons in this bit. Uh, it would be nice if we could do angled ones. It'd be great, but I don't think we can. <laughs> Just don't think they'll look as good. So something like that. Uh, have some sort of hallway then. I mean, we've got this little area here, so I mean, this can be pretty simple. I mean, it could even be you know, just something like that, really. Have to be that major. Probably have uh, one gun or something on there. Something not that small. So we go just like directly across that. 
Um, so if we have a chamber here, we'll have like a walkway going this way. Right, okay, here we go. Now we're getting a little bit of structure. So I have some sort of walkway going there. We've got, obviously got this room here. We've got you know, that room there. Got a room, that, that tower there. So we've got this tower in here. So these would all have um, their own walls on them. I think we're going to have to build that up. Or do we go around the corner? Yeah, try and curve it a little bit. Yeah, so we'll have these different rooms will all be kind of like separated out, you know, kind of like properly. So they'd have to leave their own big walls on it or something. Right. God knows how these, how long this episode's going to be. But um, if you, yeah, hopefully these are going to be quite enjoyable for you guys. So what, what I didn't want to do with uh, doing high guard because it takes so long to do an episode. I'm talking like maybe a week at least. Um, I didn't want to lose the kind of, you know, pure interior building, and I didn't want it to be like an empty city. I wanted it to actually feel like a, like it has got some life in it. So hopefully, doing these these episodes will flesh it out a bit. Uh, it means I can also get these regular videos up, and you can you can kind of see what I'm thinking of doing, which I think is always, well, I found it useful. Um, whenever I was when I was starting to build, it was always useful, and I still watch them like today. Um, there's quite a few people that I do watch, which are quite good. Hmm. Do we go for something else? Pushed back one, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe we do the same over here. Maybe we can build that one over there instead. Same kind of thing like that. Something like that. And then we'll have. Maybe this will just be storage of some kind. You know, just like completely open storage. Small staircase there. And these are tiny, aren't they? Do we need to make them bigger? Hmm, don't know. If we do, we need to move it like now. Uh, we did want that. I, I, I don't like these ones. Don't need to be bigger. You know? And I, mainly, I've made them the wrong way, the way around, so you'd be fighting with your left hand going up. Though, I have heard uh, heard something from one of one of the comments. I did read that said um, actually they wouldn't always be that good. They wouldn't. They wouldn't always um, actually care about the. The direction of anything, so there is that as well. But I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't really looked. Uh, I know that the, the castles that I've been in, I've always had it in in the same uh, kind of like direction. So um, it would always be for right-handed fighters. But you never know. I think it's always difficult if you're fighting up up anyway. I don't know. I don't know how often it would happen. God knows. Who knows? Right, so this is going down here. Have it going down this bit. Maybe. I want to use more of this one. I really like this wood. Alright, so if we had this here, then at least. Yeah, okay, so you'd then. It's a bit in the way, but. It's not too bad. You go down this hallway, hit the stairs, probably literally hit the stairs. I mean, where, where we have something like this, you know? That's something like that. That's just totally in the way, though. That's the problem I've got with it. So, can we move it? I just hate it, and it doesn't look right. It's quite, you know, slightly off or whatever. Um, so, I don't want to really interfere with this one. I think we need that. Go down here. And this is where we have, you know, this just sat on a load of stone instead. Does that kind of work, wouldn't it? Right, yeah, do that. That's just a wall. Uh, and then we'll have a small doorway on this side or something. Um, oh yeah, right, just something like that. Small doorway there, which will just go into this area. <laughs> Maybe this will be the kitchens or something. Yeah, this this could be the kitchens. So this, the kitchens, will have like a little feast hall thing here. Not really a feast hall, just a, a kind of like eating area, I guess. Um, because they, they, most likely, they wouldn't be attacked from this direction unless the city was pretty much taken and this was one of the last, you know, they were just defending it to try and hope for reinforcements to come, which probably would never come. Um, so I guess this would actually work pretty well as a kind of like an area where they could eat and things. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that. That being a sensible thing. And obviously if they were, were then under attack, they could then, uh, well, they would just move the tables back. Got some cannons in there. Uh, I know that you know on, on on old ships, for example, they you know the captain's quarters would also uh, house some guns, and they would, they would just move them out of the way. Like it's as simple as that. 
Uh, I'm wondering if we can do like a little... What I'm thinking is we have like, you know, the kitchen's in here. It doesn't have to be that big, because they wouldn't have that good quality food, <laughs> probably. Uh, I expect. So I just want to change this. This is way too much like dark stone just in the same place. Really weird. Oops, there we go. Um, I might just switch some of that back. Just in case we need to move it, especially this wall. Um, yeah, I just think it's all done. Um, yeah, so back, back in the days, they would actually just move the, the captain's quarters. So maybe we'll do. I wonder if we can have like a little. Um, one thing in his officer's quarters, because they probably have like some sort of rich dude. Probably in charge of them. So something like that, and then the rest will have the tables in here, you know, something there, whatever. And we'll just have probably those double doors that we did in Fort Scalar as well, we'll just have them in here. Um, in Fort Scalar, did we do doubles? Just two, didn't we? So whether we go with, I think we'll have bigger gates than these ones, so the big gate here, big gate on that one, smaller gate on this bit. The only problem is with that is that then this connects them to the kitchen. I guess they would be able to bar the kitchen door. It'd probably be, yeah. Well, I'll just have it where they can just, you know, completely bar that kitchen door. And so actually, before we do seal this completely in, have like a way in from the side. This one need a double. Yeah, we'll do some fancy doors in this. Uh, this one probably, yeah. Screw it. We'll have a fancy door on that one. It's just this one. We won't have a fancy door. On. So it's quite cramped and quite small. A right, fancy door there. Fancy door there. Obviously, fancy door there. Uh, unless you want to move that fancy door to this side, so it all lines up. <laughs> so I can put a nice little archway going across, that's all I'm thinking. Uh, we got this little area in here, we're going to here, which also has like a little fancy door, so I mean it's not exactly unsecure at all, by any means. There we go, and then they'll have some sort of door in here, maybe even a nice fancy door. Lots and lots of fancy doors. Right, so this, this kind of works. I think. Um, that's also off, isn't it? Can we move this over? Yeah. Let's so make it all line up. Everything make it all look good. I have this in here. That would kind of make sense anyway. You can have, then have like racks of uh, cannonballs if they've got they've got a cannon in here. So that that does make sense. Right. Let's colour this in quickly. I don't know what we're going to do with this area here. I mean, this could just have stuff in it. You know. You know. If you had anything delivered here, you'd just drop it in there, wouldn't you? Uh, I think with this. I, know I did do it at an angle, but I think I'm going to end up switching this to just a block behind it. I think that's all it needs. It doesn't really, doesn't really need a lot uh, just for this bit here, because all I did with that angle bit was just for... Um, uh, so the door here, you'd, you'd be able to see this you know, block behind it rather than anything else. That's why I use that angled one, but if we, if we can't see that, there's no real point. That's fine. There we go. If we have that across there, well, maybe even... You know? A little bit thicker. So uh, this is like a big delivery, just random storage uh, stuff, really. Okay, let's guess. I it might be this episode's pretty much just planning, which is, is never fun. Uh, small. I'm gonna call them bathroom rooms, not rooms. Room. <coughs> uh, we we'll have the storagey stuff in here. That's just general storage and stoof. Um, this will be the uh, what we call this, like the dying room, I guess. I know, it's not really a dying room. It's not going to be a fancy fort. Obviously, this is a military fort, so dining room in there. Got the officers mess hall. Put thing in here. So it's pretty square, but put in a nice table or something. So that in there. We've got uh, big. Actually, a room down here. So that's if they get quite close. Um, don't go with fire on them. So the mess. Obviously, we've got the stairway on. Got the kitchen in there. Now, with the kitchen, I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking of having the like a, a step steps going down and things. So we might have some steps going down this place here into some sort of like, cellar of some kind. Okay, so we might have. Old cave. Maybe we could. Yeah, I mean, if we if we wanted to, 
Uh, we can then make this so that this actually turns into a sea cave or something. Do you know what I mean? Like behind some boxes, there's a hole, and then if you dug down, you'd be able to get into it. Somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Maybe we could have something like that. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Um, tell me what you think about that idea. If that's a good idea, uh, we'll do it. If it's not a good idea, we, we won't do it. So, there we go. But I will put down a sign. So we're kind of like aware of it. Um, so. Cellar. Not Vela. <laughs> I'm not doing very well at the minute. Cellar. Uh, possibly. Secret. Sea. Cave. Exit type thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Be kind of cool. When I, I think that'd be cool, but that's just me. Right, I'm just going to paint these now. We got this all done. All right, there we go. Paint that. Hey, it looks. It always looks better as soon as you do that. It suddenly looks like it's actually useful. Um, <laughs> not really useful. Like it's actually real, I guess. Um, there we go. Put that metal type thing. That worked perfectly. Okay, so we've got that. Don't know what we're gonna have with this. I'll probably have some sort of weird chimney on the side uh, going up, or just shoving out the side of it. Um, right, should we do a couple? Yeah, we'll get some of these done. So I say it's different than Fort Skull because it's a lot lighter rock. It's quite nice. Should be working with it. Typical, you, you kind of like old school. Well, not really old school stone brick, is it? It's not very old school at all. Um, you're nice stone brick. Now we've got that door. I can't remember how high it is. I know that it's uh, obviously it's for a two wide one, which we're using loads and loads and loads in Fort Scott. Like this reinforced wooden wooden gate thing is it's just it's just awesome. I, I really like it. Uh, and actually, we decided in the end, didn't we, to uh, move it forwards by one. Don't obviously have it going the right way. So we had it like that, or back by one. I mean. That also looks kind of cool. I'm uh, definitely going to need those trap balls as well. So I'm pretty much going to mirror what we've done before. Um, hmm, I don't know. Would you have it like that? So it opens into that way? Or would you? Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Because otherwise, because yeah, then you can just bar it, and then if the hinges are going that way, you just like you know block it up. If you did get stuck in it, I mean, you, you'd not want to get stuck in one of these places at all. Not at all. But you did. I'm sure it's possible. And that gives you a bit of thing. So I've got a big battery room in there. These, I might. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm actually thinking of building up this wall here to go across. So we can actually have a double. Um, double one of these where you'd basically have. Oh, oh, can I, I, actually, I can show you with this. So have it there. Just like that. Uh, and then we have. If I grab that wood. I'm going to have um, an actual you know, door going across. Like this, using a really thick one, which you, you can do this in default as well, just using different types of wood. Um, and have something really, really reinforced like that going in. Um, and then, have we got a spruce wooden door? I think we do. Yeah, I'll do the same thing as I've done here. So, this is, is not actually supposed to be a spruce wooden door just sticking out in the middle of it, otherwise, you would just break this. Um, it's mainly so that it looks like a really reinforced door, but actually. You can actually go through it as well. That, that's my that's my thinking behind this. So I think we probably will move that because then we can do something like that. Obviously, we've got the same on the other side as well, where we've got that. Oops, I'll do that. I think we probably need to switch those out to match what's behind them. But uh, yeah, the only thing I don't like about these is that it's, it's all the same texture like the trapdoors. So I don't know if that's like a bug that needs to be added in or whatnot. Uh, I don't know. It, yeah, <laughs> it's one of those annoying, but yeah. Right, okay, so there we go, got those. Then I'll make going up to that bit, right, just up to there, there, there. Reinforced doors, switch that one out to a proper one. There we go. Really, I just like the, the whole thing's really good with these. That's the thing. Really cool. Okay, so we get something like that. This we will move. So I'll just sort this one out. Obviously, this one hasn't got a double on it unless we uh, do move it. I think that is now to wall, so we can't really move that one. But we can go across here just to keep with the style. And it also means that that bit that I, that I didn't really like the look of, uh, we, we don't even see it. <laughs> so there we go. 
when in doubt, move stuff. There we go. Right, there. That and there. So it goes across there. Bang, bang, bang. Did I do the same on that one? Did I do it across there? Yeah, I did. It's fine. I just couldn't tell at all. Yeah, I think I definitely need to match what's over behind it, so it'll just make it look better. Yep, bring that one there. Wooden thing in here. Big reinforced door. So, I mean, even if they did get through a little bit of it, they've still got, you know, this whole other door to contend with. We'll also do the same thing around here to make it all look... It all looks like the same style, then. It's just continuation of style. So you go through that, you then break into this room, you then go, okay, well, we're going to break into it. Damn, okay, well, taking out the guards in this small battery room. I mean, they were going to run out of supplies and surrender at some point anyway, but then they can't shoot at somebody. Um, and then they'd have to break through this one. Uh, and even when they get into this chamber here, I mean, if, if there's people, you know, obviously fighting them, uh, that'd be good. If, but if not, they'd have to break through another set of doors, so it, it adds an extra pretty good layer of defense really doesn't it? it makes it pretty tough to get through uh, and even like the officer's mess then you know still in there even if you're able to get through this big door here uh, or into the into the mess you would then you know be able to get into the kitchen but uh, I guess even if you got into the kitchen the thing is that you would then have to break through and yeah so you'd have to get into the mess you'd have to get in, then break through these doors to get into the kitchen then after these ones you would then have to break in to another set of doors to get to the stairwell. You know, that's that's what my thinking is. I don't know if that's tactical or not, but um, you don't have to break into there to get to the stairwell, right? Um, and then what we're going to do, I have no idea uh, up here. I have no clue at all. Uh, but that kind of like adds at least a bit of defense to it all. Just like that there. Um, how much of this do we actually need? that much, not really. I think we can do we did this, right? Pretty sure. I used to trap all of this one. Tiny bit of variation. Um, not really that much, is it? But did that. So that's as small as we can go, really, with that. I might do it quite, quite small. Um, then have this room probably, again, like this main bit, it's not going to be as... Uh, is used. Right, it's really just a vantage point. I mean, you've got this bit over here. Maybe we could have a. Make sure we've got a cannon there. Um, right. I went to this one. Maybe we want to work our way around as if you would, you'd have to get around all this bit to get to the this side. This this side obviously being the this bit there being being the main firing bit. Um, whereas obviously we've got tower in here and also on this side as well. We, these are pretty important um, areas. Okay, so what we want to do then is we want to block off some of these bits. Uh, do we want to even wall up this section here, maybe? If we have it going across there, I mean, then got a maximum kind of area. I don't even need that corner at all, do we? Just need that there. Okay, well, uh, there we go. Fine there. Okay, so then we get uh, we just got up into here, so into this bit. Cool, right. I need to break into another bit to get probably into this main section, even though it's not going to be as used. Um, I won't get as attacked as much, would it? The only other thing is, do we want... Uh, it's a shame we can't move this over. No, I just don't think so. It's already in an awkward place as it is. I want to start moving it as well. I think that'd be even more awkward. I was thinking mainly um, putting in another... You know, another uh, another thingy. One of these. I mean, this is a lot smaller as well. Another one of these, basically, another door to get up and up from the stairs. So obviously, we've already got a problem where you get up on the stairs and you're already in trouble. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's not so good, is it? So maybe we have the stairs going up actually here instead, getting up into this bit. So you have to break into the main hall, uh, and then it's more central, and then you get to up here. I think that actually might work a lot better. So here we go. Let's, let's edit this. 
not not happy. I mean, I wasn't really happy with these these stairs being here anyway. I mean, we had all this space, and it was kind of a bit weird. So I mean, this is just going to be like a weird storage room then. Uh, not really a weird storage room. <laughs> just it's going to be a storage room then. Um, oh, we got any more of the other one? Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of these. Okay, so we got that. And we got that. Well, this is just a, literally just storage. So I mean, maybe that's just like a maybe that's a trick. So actually, you would you would think that this is the most you know this is the place you want to attack into. You go into here, you find some storage, you then go into the kitchen, you go, oh, what the hell? Then you finally get into this bit. I mean, it's either that or we just completely block this one off. Don't know, you guys tell me. You guys tell me what's, the, what's a good idea if we just completely block that off. I think I might be going over the top with the defensive thinking. So that's totally possible. <laughs> Definitely. Mm, we also need some stairs. That's a bit Thank you. And look, that fits in a lot nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, I like this more. Instantly, I like it more. So there is that. Just it, that, that that makes a lot more sense. I mean, we need to sort that out a little bit, but apart from that, that looks a lot cooler. Cool. Right. Okay. So in that case, we then can get rid of this this wall here. Um, we can still have some sort of wall going across it, though. Not there, but um, actually, yeah, we are going to have to build a wall up there, aren't we? Uh, so maybe we'll have some sort of door here. Goes into it. It's just that that goes up to there, and then we'll have some stuff around it, which I don't know what we're going to do with, but, uh, hmm. Oops. It's going to be fun. Go up into here. No, you don't go up into there. And uh, this isn't. I keep on. Now that I've closed that off. I keep on thinking the door. There's like a, a way in there. So we have this as its own little section. You know, little tiny little, tiny little thing like that. Completely separate. Completely and utterly separate to uh, anything else. Um, probably still want a way through because you, if this got taken. Have man on it, you wouldn't want to block the way up. So you probably want both ways in. You know? I mean, it depends. How, how, how defensive do we make the whole bloody thing on the inside? So we need to think about quarters and everything like that, don't we? And where they're going to uh, be. Probably, up, probably on this level, I'd say. How about that? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the quarters being on this level. I think we still need to have this quite open. So we have it as a really weird shaped room. Uh, so we would go three on those ones, two, three, like that maybe. Do something really, uh, probably not like that. That looks really weird. I'm just trying to think of how we can do this. Make it to two. Two two, so we've got two two, and then we've got an extra one there. That's probably why. It doesn't have to be perfect. But something like this would then do it, wouldn't it? Just don't know where this is gonna, you know, where the entrance is gonna be to this. This section, I mean, could be in here. Um, you know, definitely. Could even have it. There's another one of these double doors. Probably this time we're going to do it here instead. So we'll have that there. So this is this just get just to get into this side. Um, maybe we could have this as like an actual bunk, and it's just um, again they'll just move everything out of the way. So maybe we'll do this as a uh, one of the barracks. So we'll have that as one of the barracks. That'll work. Okay. All right. So maybe if we went down there, we'll have another way in, don't we? Uh, we could have some officers' barracks maybe in this bit because we've got a big, big square blob to work with. So we have that. Um, so we get into it from this side or not? It's a real question. Could do. Oops. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to punch through the wall. God. Oh, not the wall, the, the ceiling. Damn it. 
Alright. So I have some, some living quarters in here there of some kind. No idea what they'll be, but we'll have them in there. Um, that's quite big actually as an area. Really is quite big. But it is on that like last channel going to here, and then we'll have the main barracks in there. Right. So, I mean, we've still got to figure out where, when you go up these stairs, where do you go, you know? Let's go on this side here. Let's go up there. Where would you go? Where do you want to go? Probably, probably want to go either this way. So, I mean, it's where we, uh, you know, cap this off a little bit. We have, like, a little wall walkway going down this way. Uh... Like a small thing going down to here, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. something in here. Down to this section. That's not right. I want to do it there. There we go. So something like that. Go into there. Have a small room in here for something. <laughs> yep. Just just something will be in there. Uh, maybe even that can go up to there or something. So maybe that can be one of the one of the officers' quarters or something. You know, something similar. So how small do we want to make this little room in here? I mean, it's not got anything in it. It can just have have stuff. Um, there we go. Right. So we'll have something like that. This one literally will just be a, a single way in. So this will be uh, some sort of officer, of some kind will will live in here. Maybe maybe even the have like a quartermaster type person that will, yeah, whatever. Because we have, we did have that in full supply, and that seemed to work quite well. Like a, a proper quartermaster. Uh, we could have this as a commander. Maybe we can actually have the commander as quite, quite wealthy. Maybe this is a prominent position to be in. I don't, I don't know. Uh, in the military, it could be, couldn't it? Possibly. around we'll probably have another door here cool I agree with that right let's put these up as well because I'm forgetting about these I think I did down here didn't I? no I didn't down here it was just up upstairs I completely forgot about them right well got that there another one here Down to this side. Um, I'll probably literally have another one on the other side of it. This will just be a storage room of some kind. I mean, there's no real reason for anything else. I mean, if you got the, these ones you knocked through, then you got to knock through these ones anyway. So I mean, it's not a problem. I might actually build them into these onto this main bit. I know it doesn't. It's not fitting with the. Uh, we were saying we we're going to have the, the doors not through, but I'm mainly thinking about what we can put in here and, and what we can put in the other ones. I don't want, it, don't want this to be really cramped. If this, this allows us then to put some more stuff in it, maybe cannonballs all stacked up that they'll then be able to carry out um, or something like that. Quite good. And the same probably in here. Uh, so we've got three, one, one, two, three, one, two. So another a battery room type thing in here. Maybe that'll just have a single door go into this one. Like that. Have we got single doors? Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, we already got it anyway. Got a single door in there. Just to go into this bit. Just as if we got, you know, the one going on to the outside. Um, and then from here. Uh, what have we got on these bits then? That, that's got an entrance. It does have an entrance. Yep, so that's fine. So this room's absolutely fine. This room is as well. Take that bit, so we have some barracks in there. Cool. Uh, have we decided what this is? Commanders? Four commander? Maybe. I don't know. Do we want this bit here? To belong into the lads? <laughs> what the lads? The guys? I don't know. Or do we have it like as a weird... 
wardrobe. It's a very like, little, little area there for a wardrobe. And probably some other areas for a wardrobe. Depends on how smart you want to be with it, really. So, yeah, we'll have the uh, commander's quarters. Maybe we'll have more money here. It's more important if you um, are actually in the city. It'll just be those other posts around the kingdom which I don't care about as much. But it's not that they don't care about as much, it's just then they're not seen as, uh, as important. Something like that, yeah. That'll work. Right, if we have this up here, let's really push it to the side. It means we can have more. We need more quarters, so we can't just have um, a couple. Oh, yeah, we've got another door there. Or well, they can break through this one. Uh, it's up to them, really. We'll have more storage in this bit. And. Yeah, maybe we'll have another. Maybe we'll just have that instead, just a not not actual set of doors, but. Just an arch. Because we still need to do all that. We need to do all the arch bits completely. That's not like that. Just going storage, job done. Uh, and then it's really just over here then. So we've got this weird, it's going to be a bit of a weird angle passageway. Um, which I think is the only thing we can really do with this. So go up to there. So then we'll have all of this as like um, gunnery storage. Obviously we've got these as well, so we might have a couple guns in there. And we'll have lots of lots of ammunition all around. But that will kind of work then. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oof, it's quite exhausting, really. It's quite crazy. Uh, do we want another, another barracks in here? So one there, one here. Yeah, why not? So two of them in there, so we've got these like, extra rooms for them. That'll work. Uh, do we want... It's not that big, is it? So it's not a big at all. Maybe we just want to completely cut that out because then we've got an entire wall we can then put them up on each side. So we've got that. Okay, so we've got that there. Let's see for that or we completely have this side open. I mean would we have them behind this? Can't have them behind that wall. No we can't. Okay, so that's fine. Let's uh, build that back up again. We can have an area there. That's whether we use it or not. I mean it's like the last time I did this sign, there's, there's loads of areas that we just didn't end up uh, actually using. I think I'm just going to do something like that so we can put something in the corner there. Then you walk around, this is all open, then you go into the, the evil these two. So actually, go in, this will just be a, another barracks. Right. There we go, right, so we've got another barracks, right, okay. Let's paint it all. <laughs> Next step, and then we'll walk through and, and see if it all makes sense. Oh, right. Was this quarter officers or quartermaster or somebody like that, wasn't it? I think we're going to go with the officer, officers' quarters in that bit. All right, there we go. And sort out most of these, but do that as we start building around into it. That's the thing. Just randomly clicking a little bit, so it's just fine. Uh, right, okay. So let's just have a little wander through. See if this makes sense. So it's quite weavy. <laughs> Very weavy. Right, okay. So. It's all quite open down here, isn't it? Now, now, I've, now that I've done that up, up a bit, it's so so much more open. Right, it's quite open up here. Quite cool, quite big, quite big. Get into this bit. Go for a wander up here. We need to obviously... All of this bit needs to be switched out. There we go. It should look like it's on the stone, even if it's not. Um, then we can obviously beam that in a bit and make it all look pretty and stuff. So go into here. We've got the, some officers' quarters on that side. I have some sort of book thing there. Uh, go into this one. We can even go into this side here, which will go around the outside. Small storage room in there, so I have the gunnery storage thing here. We get to this tower here. Another door onto the outside there, go along these corridors here, uh, way on, way out there. Some quarters, uh, barracks, I've already written that down, excellent. Just do it behind the thing. Another way into there, a little bit of a gunnery storage thing. The commander's quarters, quite big, it's going to be quite prominent. Um, 
And then you'll get into the stairway, and there is some more barracks on this side. So that's less, less likely to be attacked. So, up here, that's going to be the next one, obviously. Uh, though we are on the 49 minute mark, so that's quite... Yeah, it's, that's quite long as a video, so I might call it there, or even 50 minutes, even. Yeah, we're over 50 minutes. So then we'll call it there. I don't know what we're going to do with the top, either. Um, what can I see? It, it depends. I mean, we could we could have, um, you know, buckets and things like that, just in case. Or, or we could have, like, a water tower or something, you know, built up onto it so they could actually... If they did get stuck, they would be... Um, they at least have water and supplies. Yeah, but um, we're kind of we're kind of work our way up. I think that's the way we're going to do it. Um, I'll build some more cannons and build those in, um, which should be. I mean, they're pretty simple to build. So I'm going to show you guys one now. We got the wheels on them as well. Uh, if we did want to, for example, where I've been putting them is in these gaps. I've been taking those out. Um, we had a step there. Put that against it so that it does that. Otherwise, you get the one that goes that way. Where we want to. Have them look like anvils. One, two. That's it, isn't it? It's just two. Yeah, it's just two, so they stick out a little bit. Then we shove a wheel on the bottom here. And shove all those in. That's all we're that's all we're gonna do with the cannons. It's really, really nice and simple. Um, so we'll just have a couple of those probably sticking out randomly, semi-randomly even. Uh, like for example, here. Not really randomly at all. But we go, have one there. About there. Oops. Put that one up there as well, and two. There we go, we've got a nice cannon on that side as well. We'll probably have one at an angle if we uh, could, could get it to work at an angle without it looking a little bit silly. But I mean, we can't give it a go right now. To me, it just looks silly, but maybe we could do that. Is that a partial angle? Mm. <laughs> not at all. I mean, the idea of this tower, anyway, is that it attacks them there, uh, and then when you get down to the inner bay, you then get attacked by another another load of cannons. So that, you know, my thinking behind this was that you see this, uh, and you would try to attack that bit. Uh, they'd be firing at you, but then when you get into the, the other bit, this this has been untouched. Uh, it's got really heavy walls down the bottom, and then this is what's actually shooting across the harbour. Uh, you'd also be shot from from the other side as well, but that was my idea. Maybe I'll leave it for there. And we'll see if it if it's bugging me next time, maybe. Um, or we'll just move it into into sticking out on this one. I think I'm just going to move it to sticking out on that one because I really don't like it. <laughs> Not at all. I know it's going to do that, which is really annoying, but meh. It's fine. So we'll have this one here sticking out on that side. Put that on there. Just have a wheel on it so it looks like it's... We won't, we'll kind of ignore it, um, and that'll be that'll be quite good. There we go. So we've got another cannon there. So we've got a couple of cannons on that side that would fire across and hopefully hit them. Hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll we'll start start doing some building. I think we'll leave the top floor until next time because my god, does it take a lot longer than I thought it would just to plan out? And I think we'll see what we've missed because there'll be something that we've missed. Uh, we could probably do with a rookery as well. Uh, and it's whether we actually just have that in the top tower here, we just have um, some stuff around where we just have some birds or, or whatever um, around in this bit. Or, actually no, we could build that on the outside, couldn't we? We could actually have a, a wooden structure type thing with um, with some birds in it. So maybe we could do that actually on the top of the tower. Uh, so then they could, if they were under attack, they could then send them to the other towers. Because uh, I'm sure that's how it works, you know, you just choose. It looks so weird, that scaffold really weird you guys won't even know what that is yet so that'll be quite interesting but uh, tell me what you think of these episodes uh, always if you've got anything to add please do say so and uh, we'll see about adding it in but uh, probably next time we will start well we, 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 we will start on doing some actual interior bits and bobs um, and building up the whole thing you know so it'll be quite cool and I think once we get going it will look quite well, it just looked quite cool in general. Uh, I think we do need to still need to do some like granulation type things on the back of, on on the side of this as well too. So if they did have guards at all, they'd be pretty protected if they were down there and they could retreat or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.